Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? So it's only six hours left. I can't tell anyone except for the main game. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. Heck, <laughs> How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. What just happened back there? The diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer. Now. What the I fuck? On the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. What? 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 Tell me more, please. Is there anything to find here? Am I just running around for nothing? Come on, mister. I'll How many? Okay. After those attacks by the objects. Make... Waddle waddle. What the? Why is there a boat? Can you tell me? What happened? Mister, why is there a boat? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. What the fuck? Why? Okay, so maybe there's something around here. Just follow me. It's Shut up. Far. I know the way. No thermal scans here. Get out the way, Barry. Listen, Can't I jump. got things to do. This place don't run itself. Well, it kind of does. I don't know. So watching some NASCAR in there. Ah, uh, give me a break, Mister. Can we just get a move on? I'm waiting on you. Rabbit food. The famous dog, hot dog, chili dog, corn dog, taco dog, trailer trash dog, Betty Bush, the monster dog, and big dog. Granny Claus clam chowder, sparkling river special, S Guardian chicken parmesan, cauldron deep fried plate, zany chicken fried steak, salad, salad with chicken, snail side chicken, snail, I can read it, extra dressing. Open times, welcome. Yeah, okay. Mister, I'm waiting on you. Through here? Through here? Come on, dude. It's wasting my time. It gets better. 
a local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake. Beginning of episode three, so they were lovers. Two third, two, two, one third done of the main game. So about six more hours. I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff or until you drop below three. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. <laughs> yes, keep on talking. Nobody's interrupting you, Barry. Dude, keep on walking. Running around because you're so slow. Ring. Oh, she has a back entrance too. Come on! What do you want? Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Mr. Kokona, see ya. Thank you. Oh, the dead plants. Who's the. Oh, she's waiting behind the door. What the fuck? Welcome to. to. Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm. I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please come in. Uh -oh. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Oh, what's. Oh. Barry! What? The classic poisoned coffee. Rest and rip. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come for you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. Like I said, if you insist, I'll do it. Must turn the Back to work, boy. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. Hey. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Uh-oh. Medicated to hate? Okay. Can't beat the other ones. Oh, she's a fan. She's a really big fan. It's mural, I can't read it. Farewell to sanity, the human island. We have that book too, hey. If I can have it looks like a kid's room, what the fuck? It's weird. 
Oh, no clues to the day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Yes, please. Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Okay, okay. Bye, guys. Uh -oh. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Uh, Randolph calls me. Mr. Please. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Uh oh. I don't think I can get it around my head. No, it's impossible. Oh, radio station, nice. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all What's the problem? bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. Hurry up. You know, Danny, and uh, then I got in trouble with the law. You know, and um, I'm just well. I heard something like that, Walt. Outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower, thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe. No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, okay. Good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? Weird. Why the game is set to hurry? Uh oh. There's a baby crying in there. Mister, do you need help? Can't jump over that. It 
stopped. Shit. Oh, you're gonna get it now. Fuck. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Triple A. I'm some kind of Neo here in the Matrix. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. Dude, yeah, I could have hit that him easily. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was oh, no shit. way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Oh on. shit. Okay, I'm probably not getting attacked at all. That's good. <laughs> Dude, what have I done? Why is there a helicopter searching me? I've done nothing wrong yet. No, you don't. Fuck no. Oh, damn. Well, oh shit. Stop shooting, you idiots. You're gonna hit me. Where to? Eh? Yes. Shit. Oh no. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him off. Here. Well, is that a second page? No, I don't decades, know. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed mm. of its nights of Me, IRL. Its writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. It's a me. Hello. I don't have any weapons. Don't attack me. Oh no shit. It wasn't me. That wasn't me either. They are cute. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Oh, Mr. Nightingale. What are we gonna do with you? Do, 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 do. Safe haven. Oh, 
Oh shit. You can't see me. Are you sure about that? What is this random hole in the bar? What the f... No! What on earth are they getting, getting attacked by? Handy? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, the car. How did that car get? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Come on. Can I get the flashbangs now, please? I really like those. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Helicopter. Bad news, you're about to get birded, I think. What the fuck? Darkness, protect me. Aha. Oh no, not me. No, 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 no. Bad. Go after the helicopter. Oops. Oops. How could this happen to me? Oh. Yus! Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. They didn't put up a fight or anything. Why they were... Hey, Mulligan, what are you doing? Come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh... Mulligan, over! Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of Oda Scotch about him, you know what I mean. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, Fed's gonna wanna interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Oh, we gonna out. Can I get the flashlight, please? Oh. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. KBFFM. That's where I wanna be. Dudes. You don't have to fall down everything. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Or maybe not. Look at the gate. Look at the shaking gate. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without fire. Hmm. If only there was like a random spotlight around here somewhere. Like this one. There was no power to the searchlight. A searchlight in the middle of freaking nowhere. I don't know. Do 
Got it. Any thermal scans around here? Manuscript page. The old generator conked out. Uh, I have to see if I can fix it or try again. Perfect kick. Well, the cable is sparkling around everywhere, so maybe it's not that safe, though. Boost door! Got it. And it died, of course. Everything dies after one use. It's like a, a hidden object game. You can only use things once. Then you have to find them again. Whee! Whee! Come on. I think there's something behind me. Nope. Still a normal flashlight shit. Chill gate. Ooh, flashbangs. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Can you answer? <laughs> Come on, guys, talk to me. Come in, please. Over. Oh, dead. Okay, so we don't want to waste any flashbacks because I love them. So we need to get those three guys together. So we can only use one. Like this. Perfect. The problem is, there's only one, always one coming from the front, and the rest of them from the back. Okay, still got him. Don't go out wide, please, thank you. Random flashbangs. Shit. to chill music. Oh, long time no see, man. This good page. Oh shit, that's a lot. Can I get them all? Oh, I did. 
Whoa, one of the big guys. Dead. Oh, come on. So this should be this. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. Yeah, you don't need a gut to. And it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, oh. the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Oh, what are you doing here? Bye, have a beautiful time. Wait, where, where's the, the road? Oh, there it is. Do -do -do. Please give me a gun. Thank you. Oh, police lights. Do we want to go there? Oh, no, we want to go this way, I think. A generator. I'll take it. I don't know what for. Almost said. Normal flare, yeah, I still need a gun though. Then. And the checkpoint, nice. Wee! Oh, okay, they're all here. We can just use that. Oh, it's another bastard one. Please tell me he had a gun somewhere. Or oh, more flashbangs. Only one. Can be two. That's the third. That's the third guy. There he is. Just in time. Oh, it's a bush. I thought there was something on that rock. Bye, have a beautiful time! Oh my gosh. Well, uh, let the trash sort themselves out. I'm oh. sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. Well, thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. Lorna. That's a nice car. Just take it and drive away. All cars seem to have their keys inside, so. It's America, of course they have. 